Hello. So Flowcore is the developer platform for data-driven systems. So bad data costs the world trillions of dollars every year. And one of the reasons is that big data is not built with the developer in mind. My co-founders are Julius and Brian and Brian, and we have together, have we, we have felt this pain as we have scaled startups, uh, pioneered cloud solutions, and delivered multiple exits over the years. Our amazing team is now ready, including a two-time Olympian and the engineer that built and scaled the technical foundation for Danish unicorn, Clio. Imagine Sarah, a full-stack developer building AI-powered uh, applications. She's constantly waiting for data engineers who are short in supply. She doesn't have access to version control. The, uh, everything is manual, uh, and, and all changes require complex coordination, slowing her down. In solving this, we always ended up recreating the same basic building blocks. That's why we created Flowcore, a visionary open approach with two key components. Data cores capturing every data change, giving full replayability, and processors to transform the data and to run services. It all runs in Docker containers, giving, uh, co and giving connectivity and power. We have a command line in interface, and you can do everything in that interface. You can define your whole infrastructure in YAML files. And Flowcore is a full uh, production uh, deployment platform, bridging the gap between compute and storage. To get to market faster, we created, we used our own platform to create Flowcore streams, offering Kafka and other streaming services with low latency, unlimited storage at a fraction of the cost of competing alternatives. Once developers start using streams, they discover the power of the Flowcore platform. Want to train an AI model on historical data? It's already there. Need to build a real-time analytics dashboard? The data is ready. Want to create your own data service? You can do it on our platform. You can securely share and collaborate on data cores and, uh, and transformers and, and services with access management defined as code. Every new developer makes the platform more valuable for everyone else. So this is our go-to-market playbook. Solve an immediate pain with Flowcore Dreams. Let the developer discover the power of the platform, start sharing, and create the networking effects. The platform is running in production. And we have early proof that this land and expand plan is working. To uh, save costs and handle scale, IoT provider GlobeTracker successfully implemented Flowcore data streaming for 300,000 refrigerator containers all over the world realizing that they could use the platform to optimize their, their architecture and even offer new data services. So there's a new AI tech stack emerging. Flowcore sits in the middle, in the tooling layer. We are perfectly positioned to provide the tools for the developers that are uh, solving this trillion dollar bad data challenge. So join us in building the developer platform for data-driven systems. Thank you. Thanks, Olavor. Thank you, Olavor. Let's, let's go. Thanks, Olavor. Really good pitch. Sounds amazing what you guys have built. Uh, could you describe a little bit um, what's the value in your work with your initial design customers? What's the value that they're actually getting out of it? Is it more about saving on data engineers, or is it more about being more effective on the developer side? What's really the, the value that your early customers are showing to get from your product? So, so one immediate value is that the, the, the Flowcore Streams platform is like 10 times cheaper than the, 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 than the alternatives. That's the easy one. But then they get the, the power of the platform, which mainly is about flexibility and access and bringing data and compute closer together. There is a trend, and has been for a long time, to get them farther and farther apart. So you have data products 
you have data mesh, and you have lots of other trends that say that data should be sovereign and it should be handled over there, while processing should be over here. And, and that works if you have lots and lots of data engineers that can handle this, but we do not have that. Data engineers are scarce, developers are not. So by doing this, we, and we empower the developers, the millions and millions of developers that can do this, not including the AI power tooling that they get from that. Thank you, Olavur. Can you elaborate a bit more about distribution? How do you want to get to the developers? Is like any secret sauce you've already identified? To be honest, it's challenging to come with a new paradigm. Yeah. So, so that's why we're using this trick. We, we give them the gateway drug of flow core streams, getting them on, because that is very easy to, it's just a, chain, uh, a question of changing the connection string and use our service instead of Confluent or one of the other alternatives. Then when the platform, when the data is in the platform, we can upsell to them. So we this land and expand. So we do this, so, so that's product-led growth because it's an easy, easy sell. It's, it, it's search engine optimization, it's ads, it's partners. We are on uh, AWS Marketplace. So, and, and, we can, and we are in talks with partners that can push us there. Thank you so much. Um, if we think about the other alternatives, whether that's Langchain or Crew and all the others out there, what makes you stand out and what makes you particularly sticky to lock them in? So, so what makes us stand out is our totally different approach to the, the whole world. That compute and, uh, and data should be together. So that is definitely what makes us stand out. Uh, we are very aware that we, sh we uh, build this so, it, so that it can connect to all the others, to work in as an addition to the ecosystem, to work with current solutions. What makes it sticky is the networking effects. So because developers, if they like a tool, they get other developers on board, that's fine. But if you can share both your data course and your code to other developers and start building on it, then you have the sticky links, then you have the moat. So I guess there's a reason why the data has been kept apart and, and there are some safety considerations or whatever else. So how are you addressing these concerns now that you're combining these, these products? I guess we, we come from a world where everything was done uh, on-premise, went into the cloud, we got the modern data stack, a lot of tooling, and that was a, like a, a path dependency. You went on that path, and you, got all, you have thousands of companies providing that. But they all have the same worldview, which is we need to cater to the data engineers. We don't care about the developer approach. So, so it's, it's very cumbersome to work with. Easy for data engineers, but there are so few of them. And right. it works really well for large companies because they have access to them. The broad uh, space of IT com or developers do not have access to the data engineers. Sorry, Oliver, we need to wrap up. But thanks a lot for the pitch and for the questions. Let's give a big round. Thank you. Thank you.